So what I wanted to show you is uh, the southern part of the moon, which is right there. Look at the mountain ridges on the outer rim of the moon. Those are just the edges of craters, but it, it looks so much like you could you could just reach out and it's, it's like a scenery on Earth. Uh, what you see down below the darker gray area, that's a Maria Sea, uh, that is uh, darker because uh, it's lava filled. It's a huge crater that was later filled with lava. It, it has a higher iron oxide content, the minerals uh, in the lava, and uh, it appears darker uh, because it absorbs more sunlight. And then if I can move the scope just a teeny mini bit, all right, right there, that's Copernicus. Uh, that's a large impact crater. And if you can see these white rays coming out of it, those are, that is actually ejecta. That's a material that was thrown out by the impactor when it hit the surface of the moon. That's much younger than the rest that is about 100, 150 million years old, don't quote me on that, but um, that happened while the dinosaurs were living here on Earth. That is very, very recent by astronomical standards. And then those small bumps you see next to it, those are um, uh, volcanoes, extinct volcanoes, some of them. And then there is the crater Plato. That's the Apennines. That's where Apollo 16 landed, which is pretty fucking cool. You can actually see it, although not at this magnification. There is Plato, the oval shaped crater that's filled with uh, lava that uh, has the, the rim of it is actually collapsing, where it has part of it has slipped. And there is the Valles Alpes, a small volcanic uh, rima, a small volcanic uh, duct that once had a lava flowing through it. Now at higher magnifications these look awesome, absolutely awesome, but this is basically what you're going to get on most nights because the atmosphere interferes with um, observing the actual uh, features because they're so small. I mean, the smallest details you could see at this magnification are like 25 kilometers, maybe 50 rounders. So that's that's you know, those are human. Those are sizes and those are distances that a human can actually comprehend. Which I think is pretty fucking awesome.